All right. Good afternoon and welcome back to the 2021 PJ Championship here at the Ocean Course in Kiowa Island, South Carolina. We're joined by Ian Poulter. Ian posted a second round two under 70 today. Remarkable score in such tough conditions. He's straight even par for the championship, currently tied for 23rd. Ian, um, you know, really played well on the front nine, kind of really caught a riding the wave there. Um, and then you hit the tough holes, but overall a really solid day for yourself. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the first 13 holes, you're just trying to put something in the bank. That's uh, when you've got this wind, north northeasterly wind, you know, that, that closing five in very slightly from the left, um, you know, it's, it's just not very easy. So, you know, you're, you're aware of that going out. The first few holes are, are kind of in, but they're relatively short. You can still kind of have a few chances going out. They turn down wind for the, you know, the last few holes on that front nine and uh, par five, super reachable. And you've got some opportunities with wedging it in, in your hand. So 10, 11 play okay, um, providing you decent tee shots. And, um, you know, the last, the last five holes has probably been shortened by 200 plus yards. So even with that, you know, m moving us forward that far, it's, uh, it's a brutally difficult finish. You know, in very, you know, straight in very slightly at times just off the left. And, you know, you're aiming at targets, which if you pull it very slightly, you're, you're in the dunes. And if you cut it, you're wet or on the beach. So it's, it's, um, it's intense. It's a, it's a long round of golf. There's a lot of weight in standing on 17th tee. Was, uh, was not the best weight, to be honest. It's, uh, it's not an easy, easy hole as it is, but when you chuck a 15 minute weight in there uh, and you're staring three iron or some form of a hybrid to, to that green, it's, uh, it's very difficult. So to get in the house without spilling too much uh, over those last five was, uh, was okay. You just described an incredibly difficult gauntlet of holes, but you still came in at two under. I mean, you must feel really good about the, the effort and the outcome. Well, I was six under through 12. So when, whenever you're six under through 12 and you, you, know, you post two under par, it's, it, it's frustrating. But, you know, I, if you take the average for the last five holes today, I don't know what it's going to be, but I would say the average is four over minimum, I would think. It's just, just playing that tough. Um, you know, guys are going to be hitting it. Guys are going to be hitting it in the in the tall grass on the on the beach, taking penalty drops and hitting it in the water on 17. It, it's just intense. It really is, and that's from an up tee. You know, we're we're, we're up teed on that last five for a very good reason, and it's still playing that tough. I, I mean, I looked at the board, and you know, Phil got off to a great start as well. Uh, only dropped a couple coming back in on that last stretch, which is which is under par, really. Um, it's it's a tough test. Sure. All right, let's start over here with Ben on five. You were six under through at, at one point, but do you think a, a six under score is even possible out there today? Anything's possible, but you're going to need to play that last five in level par, um, which I I really don't I don't really don't see happening. Um, <laughs> you know, I. Uh, I got on to 13 and there was a scoreboard in the distance and, you know, it was, it was ironic. It says, um, you know, Ian, Ian Polt, six under through 12, six under through 12 and, um, you know, chasing down a course record. I just started laughing to myself, like, who in the world would write that and put that on a board with that last five holes to play? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't... I, if anyone does shoot six under par, then major respect. It's incredible. The late early um, start times helped you at all. Was it a calmer at all uh, this morning? Well, you know, for, for three, I think for the first three holes, we had it, you know, into a eight, 10 mile hour wind, which is you know, really playable. We got par five, short par four. Um, the first isn't very long as well. So, 
you have so many chances. Um, it feels like you've got so many chances, you know, in that opening 12, 13 holes. And it's, it, it's very gettable. The greens were, you know, really receptive first thing this morning. It looked like they put quite a bit of water on them. And then, you know, as, as you make that, you know, turn through 13, it, it's, um, it's pretty interesting. It's fun in a kind of sick way. <laughs> just, let's go to Rex on 10, then we'll come down to Doug. Given what you said about those last five holes, if the forecast holds and it flips, I guess, on Sunday, how will the dynamic change? Will they play that much easier, or they, will it still be a demanding stretch? Well, if they leave the tees where they are today and not chuck us back, I mean, look, I mean, it, it's... I hit a really, really, really good drive off 18. I had 224 front, 250 pin, which I calculated at 290. Um, you know, with 40 yards of, uh, you know, strong into the wind. I mean, I've, I've hit my best three-wood, you know, driver three-wood, and that's us on a very forward tee. So I'm not long, but you know, even even not being long and still hitting the fairway, you know, that 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 closing stretch is it's just hard. I mean it's I'm sure they're gonna one day squeeze one of those tees a bit further back just for just for a good laugh. <laughs> Between you two you figure out who's next. I don't know. I just kinda of to follow along I'd let you define the word any way you want, but did you enjoy yourself today? Uh I'm a bit more like, yeah, I did. You know, it, it's um, we want to we want a good test, right? We we always want to test ourselves to the to the highest level. I think this is a super clever golf course. I think it's a very very good good design golf course played in this wind, and you know, to be to be six under on any course at any stage, you've you know you're generally playing some good golf. And even as difficult as that last five holes is, um, it's, it's interesting. It tests a different part of the brain that gets switched on, um, which I don't get to use that often. It's not, well, big, it's, it? it's not that big anyway. Yeah, I mean, I've entered there for 20 minutes. Along those lines, when you're going to a place and all you hear about is how tough it's going to be, does it, personally, do you kind of relish that? Yeah, because... You know, this this very much is a shot maker's golf course. You, you know, you can't be one dimensional coming into this golf course and expect to get round um, with ease. So, when you know you've you know you've got kind of the game to to test yourself to this level when it's when it's playing as tricky as it is, and you're having to, you know, maneuver shots from right to left and left to right and try and keep it under the wind. It's um, it's it's great. It's a straight up hard golf course, and you know even in even in the practice rounds, playing it off the backs, um, it it plays you know even even more difficult. So you kind of get the sense before Thursday starts, even with you know the tees are going to be moved forward because it's just not um, it's not really going to be fit for TV if we play it right off the backs on those closing five. So. Um, you, you already know by Thursday what, what you're going to get, especially in this wind direction. All right, Ian. Thanks. Go take a load off. I uh, think you've earned it very much. Thank you.